if m, p, and t are positive integers, and m is less than p is less than t, is the product m, p, t an even integer? Well, remember that when you multiply numbers together, that odd times odd is odd, even times even is even, and odd times even is even. And if we're multiplying three numbers together, no matter how many odd numbers we have, as long as there's one even number in there, the product will be even. So the only time that you would not get an even number is if all the numbers are odd. So really the question is, is M or P or T even? And if the answer to that question is yes, if any one of them is even, the product will be even. So now the statements. T minus P equals M equals P minus M. Now one way to think about this, whenever you have subtraction, subtraction in a way is distance on a number line. And so if we put P, the middle one here, well, M is below it, and we're saying that P minus M, which is that distance, is going to be equal to the distance of T minus P. So in other words, these two distances are the same. The three numbers are equally spaced. So that's an interesting fact, but does that mean that, any, that they are necessarily odd or even or a mixture? Well, for example, if I had 1, 3, 5, those are evenly spaced, all odd. If I had two, four, six, those are evenly spaced, all even. Or I could have one, four, seven. That's a mix of even and odd. And so just the fact that they're evenly spaced doesn't tell us necessarily whether what combination we have of even and odd. So this statement by itself, statement number one by itself, is insufficient. Statement number two tells us that t minus m is 16. Okay, so the distance on the number line from the largest to the smallest, that distance is 16. Well, first of all, that gives us no information about p. And I point out, another way to say this is that t equals m plus 16. Well, if m is an even number, well then even plus 16 would be even. But if m is an odd number, then odd plus 16 equals odd. So in other words, this statement tells us that m and t, they're even, they're either even together or they're odd together, but we don't know which. And so again, because we don't know which, it's an answer of insufficient. Now let's suppose we put everything together. So now we know that they are distance of 16 apart from each other, and they're evenly spaced. So there's 8 between M and P and 8 between P and T. So in other words, M plus 8 equals P, M plus 16 equals T. Okay, that's what we have with the combined statements. But again, unfortunately, if you have even plus 16, you'll get even. But if you have an odd, plus 16, you'll get an odd number. And so that means that is, if m is even, then the other two are even. But if m is odd, then the other two are odd. And of course, if all three are odd, you still get an odd product. So we have no way to know, even with this, whether we'll have an even product or an odd product. So even combined, the statements are insufficient, and the answer is E.